And you see, because you, you have this illusion all the time that you're cool. People do. It's not just younger people. Everybody thinks that. All men do. 99.9% .9 of men are convinced that they have to live silently with the bitter irony of the twist of fate that means nobody knows they're really a spy. <laughs> and an amazing guitarist. Men give serious time and thought to how would I deal with it if a rocket came out of that alley right now, would I? Yeah, I think I'd handle the situation pretty well. Um, a spy who plays guitar at night. And they... And I basically think, I, you know, I'm what would have happened if James Dean had lived and discovered carbohydrates and orthopedic shoes. You have to tell yourself this bullshit just to keep going. Because you're constantly being reminded how redundant you are. How am I supposed to feel in the swim of what's current when I, I don't understand what's going on? Because younger people, my children, steal the future by changing language, everything I relied on. You walk down, how can you expect to, to feel you know what's going on when you walk down the street and your children say, oh, look at that church, it's so random. <laughs> what, is it moving? What do you mean, what are you talking about? This is a perfectly ordinary church where people go to get married. <laughs> Marriage. Ugh, that's so gay. <laughs> Look, just, can we just have some quiet time? Here's some crisps. There you go. Crisps! Awesome! <laughs> They're not awesome. They're crunchy. <laughs> if I open them and haggard shafts of lies and cherubim and angelic music comes out, they would be awesome, okay? It is much more difficult to be female, I, I, I grant you that. Because the body is more complicated. You know, if you're b born a woman, all these things happen to you. You're a baby, then a child, then a girl, then a w girl, woman, and all these things are going on. It's this constant opera where the masks keep falling to the floor throughout your life. Who am I? I don't know. Watch out, I'm fucking nuts. And then... <laughs> If you're a male, you know, you're born, you have a finger up your nose and the other hand on your dick and you get taller. And that is really it. <laughs> women, women are more supportive of one another around children. If a woman gets pregnant, you know, other women pitch in and they sort of talk about it. And it's far more useful, you know. Men, when men are about to have a child, if they have young male single friends, they're not, they're not so good. You know this, you know, your male friends arrive and they stand there and they look at you and they come and see the baby and they don't really know how to deal with it. You know, they don't get it, because they go, well, I'm here, you know, your house is a medley of disgusting smells, there's nothing to eat, everybody's wearing bathrobes, there's no bar, I can't fuck anybody, why am I here? <laughs> and... <laughs> Women tend to be more mature. You know, men look at breasts the way women look at babies. <laughs> oh, isn't that lovely? And they... <laughs> If a woman gets pregnant, all the women she's ever met in her whole life will appear from all corners of the earth to support her by telling her horror stories of all the pregnancies they've ever heard about. <laughs> it's fantastic what you're doing. I love the way you're handling this. It won't be like what happened to Michelle. What? What happened to Michelle? Oh, did I say Michelle? I didn't mean to mention that. I'm sorry. Don't worry. She was a fool. She ate vegetables and drank water. The baby came out her ear. You'll be fine. <laughs> You'll be absolutely fine. Nothing will happen to you. She can't sit down now, nobody in the family talks to one another. You'll be fine, don't worry about it.